Hi, my name is Jean Gibbons and today we're going to correct a left anterior innominate rotation. So the ASIS would be inferior compared to the opposite side and the PSIS would be superior and the leg might appear to be longer. There are many ways of correcting. This is just one of my, my favourite ways. I tend to bring up the leg and I will bring this leg and hook that over me. And what we're going to do is palpate the lumbar sacral junction and we're going to flex to that point of bind like so. And then when we feel our point of bind, we will then ask the patient to push the leg towards me. But now instead of palpating the lumbar sacral, I'm going to palpate the PSIS because it's the innominate I want to, to rotate posteriorly. After she's pushed for 10 seconds, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to cradle my hand around and palpate and then use this arm as a lever to rotate the innominate whilst I take the hip into further flexion. So as she's cradling and I'm rotating as I'm bringing it around. So I'm palpating the PSIS to make sure that it goes in a posterior direction. From this position, if you push your knee into me please. She's pushing for 10 seconds using the gluteus maximus and the hamstrings on this side here. And after 10 seconds, relax, breathe. And as she breathes in and breathes out, I bring her round a bit further. Feel okay? And then we'll do that once more, please. Push. And then after 10 seconds, relax, take a breath. And then the last one, I tend to, to hold for about 25 seconds to make sure it's rotated posteriorly. You can, if you want to, use a sort of increased leverage. You can contact the opposite arm and just add in a pulsing type of posterior rotation. Or sometimes you could add in just a little bit of a thrust. It doesn't tend to cavitate this joint, but it's quite an effective technique to try to encourage the nominate to maintain its posterior position. Once you've held that for a few seconds, bring the patient back off that position. And then you can then retest by doing the appropriate test in the prone position. And that would be how you correct an innominate that has gone anterior.